And so my prediction is that Jamaica will need to score at least two goals to win this. Welcome Sports Nation to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports DTM. Greetings Sports DTM fans and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle, your channel of undiluted sports content. Your favorite analysts are here to provide their feedback on the latest happening in the world of sports. Now, the analysts are here to give their prediction on the matchup between Jamaica and Honduras in the sixth round of the World Cup qualifiers in Honduras on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Jamaica time. But before we get into the details, we see that you've been watching and liking our videos. We also want you to be part of the Sports DTM family by clicking that subscription button. If that button is still red, it simply means uh, you know subscribe it. So we are waiting and just click the button and welcome to the Sports DTM family. Analyst, Jamaica versus Honduras is always a tough match for Jamaica. They have played 25 games between them, Jamaica winning 8, Honduras winning 12, and 5 ended in a draw. Both teams are currently bottom of the table. Well, Honduras on, on 3 points in 7th place and Jamaica on 2 points in 8th place. In the last 5 games, or the previous five games of this World Cup qualifiers, Honduras have lost two, draw three, Jamaica lost three, draw two. Both teams have conceded eight goals and both teams have scored two. Bottom of the table clash, Jamaica versus Honduras. Analyst, talk to me, give me a prediction. Who you think going to win? What? The scoreline is going to be and who are going to be the game changer. Talk to me. Yes, Jamaica versus Honduras. The two teams that are struggling currently at the bottom of the table. Honduras with three points. Jamaica has two points. And I think now is the time for Jamaica, Jamaica to get the victory. Um, I know it's very difficult historically away to Honduras. But I think Jamaica is hungry this time around. And Honduras is not the greatest of teams. It's not the teams that we've known in the past. So, have Jamaica done for a victory? Yeah, funny feeling about 2 0 in this one. Honduras have been very defensive throughout this um, final stage. Three draws, um, not scoring a lot of goals. Um, they've just scored one goal more than Jamaica. But I think Jamaica. I've been very unlucky in games and I think now is the time the team is confident. I um, heard from Kemar Roof. Kemar Roof looks to be ready, ready to go. Um, you know, a lot of confidence building in the team. Anthony Grant is in the team. And we have um have good results with Anthony Grant in the team. The team looks better with, with him in the team. So 2-0 for Jamaica. Let's go reggae boys. If the Jamaicans can actually build upon the momentum in which they have, they have done with the Canadian game, I expect a victory. In the last previous two outings, Jamaicans came up um, on top. I'm hoping and I'm hopeful that the results can be in favor of the Jamaicans. Really expecting that they will put things together, hopefully with the likes of, of Low coming back and other, and other players in which you know can help to can pull pull through with the team really expecting a favorable result for the jamaicans and just big up carry home this one yeah man after that lukewarm performance yeah we wanted three points from 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 canada they didn't get it get one point we're going to undo us now and my prediction i think we might get this victory right now i think our victory is due 
Yeah, man, it's long overdue, and I think we're going to beat the, the Honduras team there. Uh, one love. If it's not one love, it's two one. But we're going to come out victorious on this one. Yeah, man, so my prediction, Jamaica is going to win this one. Either one love or two one. Blake, Low, Tapa, and Paul all are saying that we're improving. I can agree because we're not conceding goals. You can see that we're actually, I wouldn't say fully turning the corner, but you're seeing where we're not conceding goals and we're being super competitive. Um, but that is good. That is really, really good. And we need that in this coming game. Once we can go away to in that game and not concede, we will at least come away with one point. Um, it's, it's tricky. It's really, really tricky. You have a choice. Either you develop a footballing philosophy that anybody comes in knows what it is they are going to play, or you're going to use chemistry. Um, it almost seems like Wittmore is relying on chemistry. So with that said, he has to use the same couple of players as best as possible so they can develop a clean relationship and chemistry and go um, I'm seeing improvements as we can hold that team to Milal and at least the first half. I mean, we've been doing that. Um, and as the fitness improves, I can almost expect a one-love victory to Jamaica. Um, persons might disagree with me, but I'm seeing some improvements. And I'm seeing that one goes margin to Jamaica. To use the same type of players who are coming to be with the Americans. We have scored already, South America and Mexico. Um, so, yeah, and, 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 in, and in Costa Rica. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really seeing that we can come away with one day. Once we keep a clean sheet and we score, is the other day now we just put away goals and we have scored already in South America and Central America so you can expect that push again so yeah one love to Jamaica this is a battle of the teams who are rooted at the foot of the table in the octagonal being that Honduras is on three points that led of Jamaica's reggae boys on two points but Honduras over the years has had the edge over Jamaica when playing at home winning their last three games and on each occasion in 2001 in 2008 and in 2013 the Hondurans picked the Jamaican team by one goal Two or two goals on each occasion but importantly on each of those occasions the coaches were sacked Clovis de Oliveira, René Simois and of course Tapa Whitmore and the question is will this be a second time coach Theodore Tapa Whitmore being sacked in Honduras what can we then expect of this game Coach Whitmore would want to fight with the boys to try to get a positive result. And by a positive result, it can't be a draw. Three points has to be the mission. And as such, while Jamaica has been winning in recent times over Honduras in their last two games in 2017 and 2019, the World Cup qualifiers has presented a challenge. It is hoped that Coach Tapa Whitmore will put together a compact back line and of course try to hit the endurance on the counter as it's expected to be a fierce environment. But we hope and pray for the boys' sake and for Jamaica's World Cup campaign that we can come out with a full three points. And so my prediction is that Jamaica will need to score at least two goals to win this game and so I'm predicting a Jamaica two goal to one victory. There you have it sports DTM fans, another episode of Sports Down the Middle, Jamaica versus Honduras in Honduras on Wednesday 7 p.m. Jamaica time. What's your prediction of this matchup? Leave those comments in the comment section below and always remember to like, to share and to subscribe. And to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell all of them friends to come and tune in to Sports DTM on Wednesday for this live watch along.
Jamaica versus Honduras, the sixth match in this final round, and it promises to be another exciting affair. Join Sports DTM crew on this live watch along on Wednesday. This has been another episode of Sports Down the Middle. Be blessed.